What's going on guys? Android 15 beta number three just launched yesterday. And while there aren't really any like massive landmark changes in this beta release, there are at least a handful of things worth talking about. So today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at my Pixel 8 Pro, which is right here next to me, floating magically in the air. And we're gonna go over some of the bigger changes in Android 15 beta number three. If we jump into our settings and then scroll down to display, we're looking for the option for screensaver. This is probably something that not very many of us have ever really wanted to use, but they have now added the home controls screensaver. Let's go ahead and preview that and we can see what this is going to look like. Basically, what's going to happen is when your device is sitting there idle, the screensaver pops up, it's just going to load up this view, which could potentially be very, very useful for you. I think I just might have saw a bunny rabbit in my front yard, right there behind that hanging plant. Now this is something that I think will be even more useful on tablets, devices like the Pixel tablet. I could see just sitting there with this view just sort of running, could be very, very useful. If we back out one step back into this display portion, you will now see an option for color contrast. Now I don't think that this is explicitly new, but they have given us a way to get to it from inside the display settings to make things a little bit easier. And I don't think this is gonna show up too well. Actually, you can see that pretty decently what these different options are going to be showing. Maximize text contrast. This is basically, think of it like an accessibility type thing for some people. If we go into screen timeout, there's an option for adaptive timeout. So maybe if you're like me, you leave your timeout on 30 minutes. I like to put my phone on my Pixel stand and leave that screen on because I'm, I'm potentially doing things, having to reach out and unlock it all the time is annoying. But what this is going to do is automatically turn off your screen if you're not using your device. I'm not exactly sure how it's determining if you're using your device, but I would imagine, let's say you have accidentally not shut off your screen and you put your phone in your pocket. I'm sure we've all done that at some point. And if you're like me with the 30 minute timeout, it's gonna stay on in your pocket for a long time. This may help stop that from happening. It's gonna realize I'm in a pocket and just shut the screen off. They're not using the phone. I think that is a potentially pretty useful one as well. If we go home and long press on the home screen, again, on a Pixel device, let's go into home settings and let's come down here to app list settings. You'll now see show long app names, display long app names on two lines in search results and app list. So let's go home. I'll show you what this actually is look like. And you see how it's truncated. CX file looks blue and it ends because there's no more space. If we go back into our home settings, app list settings, and show the long names, we should have that now. It's a small change, but it might be useful. If we jump into our wallpaper and style options for the Pixel Launcher, and let's go ahead and look at our wallpapers. We'll just pick one here. They've kind of changed the view on this just a little bit. So there's my Pixel Fold, and you can see that it is just like fully zoomed in. It's going to now be a little bit zoomed out, and you can tap to edit your photo and then it tells you to adjust the angle, the scale, all of these sorts of things with, by, you know, by dragging things around. Now you could do that before, but it would take you straight to this view and now it's just a little bit more, I guess a little bit more readily available information to you. It's gonna explicitly tell you, hey, click here, it's gonna zoom in and then you can move things around. Just a little UI tweak. We jump into our settings and head down to system settings, then jump into navigation mode. You'll see that they've moved the circle to search toggle one layer forward. It used to be, I believe, inside gesture navigation. Now it is going to exist right there. Make it a little bit easier to turn circle to search off if you don't like it. Of course, circle to search, which apparently some people don't know what this is still. If you long press on the little navigation line down here, just like that, you have the ability to circle things on your screen and it will do a quick search for them or highlight text. If you tap that text, you're gonna be able to copy that text. So again, this is just a simpler, quicker way to be able to disable that if you don't want to use that functionality. If I reach up here and take a screenshot, you can see that this interface does look really quite different. That area down there looks very, very different. And I think maybe has a little bit more of the material you look to it. Let me quickly grab my Pixel Fold and I'll show you what this used to look like. Take a screenshot here. That is the old interface for that. And I gotta tell you, this is one of those changes that I don't think I'm totally behind. This is just a personal preference, but I don't really like the way that this new screenshot interface looks. Personally, I think the old version looked better. Maybe you'll disagree, but it is a change. 
So there are a couple more things that I can't directly show you on my Pixel 8 Pro, so we're going to turn to a couple of articles written by Michal Ramon, and I do want to give Michal just a broader shout out because I did actually pull a couple of these things from their excellent list that they posted on Twitter. Sometimes it's hard to surface all of these things. I found quite a few, but Michelle helped me find a couple of more with this list. So I will link to that in the description. And there are a few things in Michelle's list that I left out just because I didn't personally think that they were super duper interesting. Maybe you'll disagree. It'll be in the description down below. So Android 15 might finally stop treating 7.5 watt chargers as fast. So if you don't know, when you plug in one of these devices, if it's charging at more than 7.5 watts, it will say down here, charging rapidly. In today's modern world, most of us would agree, that's not charging rapidly. And apparently they're going to be implementing a change to that threshold. He's got a nice breakdown of how this works. Below 5 is charging slowly. Above 7.5 is rapid. Between 5 and 7.5 just says charging. But you can see that a value is changing here going from 7.5 watts to 20 watts. And I think that makes a lot more sense than 7.5, which is not rapid. So this is a small one, but I think that it was a pretty big oversight. You can finally use Circle to Search with Android 15's Action Key. You may read that headline and not know what on earth that they are talking about, but we'll, we'll talk about it. One of the features that Android 15's betas have already had is the ability to switch to a persistent taskbar on your Pixel Fold or your Pixel Tablet. You can see that in action down here. If you have done that, there was no way to trigger Circle to Search because there's no little line down there to press and hold. As you can see here, now you can press and hold on that little thing down there, the little app drawer icon, and that will now trigger Circle to Search. Again, sort of an oversight before, but it has now been addressed. And lastly, we have a hint towards something that Pixel 9 might be doing inside this beta. It could let you create your own stickers with generative AI. We've just seen the iPhone with iOS 18 do something very, very similar, and apparently there's some stuff hinting in this beta towards similar functionality on the Pixel 9. And I bet my bottom dollar, it's gonna happen on device. So he talks about how this Creative Assistant application is likely to be a Pixel exclusive application. And he talks about how it's referenced in two places, a binary related to TPU in the Tensor chip and the latest version of Google Markup app, which is shipped in Android 15 beta number three. Now we actually just talked about screenshots. And if you take a screenshot and you click down here, this is the markup application that we are talking about. So to put this succinctly, it looks like there's a couple of different options that you're going to have here. So one thing that talks about saving a sticker, I'm imagining maybe you take a screenshot and you place a sticker on top of the screenshot. I guess it's possible that it's going to pull a sticker out of the screenshot. I'm not exactly sure, but then there's another option that they mentioned, a remix button, which suggests you'll be able to create remix a sticker using generative AI and paste it onto a screenshot or other image that you are editing. So it's a little bit of a strange concept and I would imagine that this sort of generative sticker making thing is probably not going to be only in the markup tool or maybe it won't even be in the markup tool. This could be something they've tested and won't even be there when it launches. But the broader idea here is that you have a screenshot, you're generating a sticker with AI and then you're slapping that onto the image. And I think that that more importantly than anything just sort of points towards sort of things we're going to be doing with the Pixel 9, which is image generation. Of course, if this does run on device, like I said, I thought it would. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. Maybe I shouldn't be betting my bottom dollar on such a thing. If it does run on device, it's going to be a Pixel 9 exclusive. If it's something that's done in the cloud, you could see it running on different pixels going back. You could see it running on anything if Google actually wanted to do it. At any rate, though, guys, that is my sort of quick list of all of the most interesting things inside Android 15 beta number three. Hit those comments down below and tell me what you think about these features. Any of these things actually stand out to you. Hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.